this video we're going to look at an op amp voltage follower so for this particular circuit we want a single supply op amp which the LM358 is what that means is the output can go all the way to ground so of course we have to uh, power this integrated circuit but that's not always shown on schematic so since this is a simple circuit I'm going to keep things simple here's the uh, LM358 uh, the integrated circuit kit that I got it from we have to power it pin 8 will go to the positive rail and then uh, pin 4 down here will go to the negative rail our 0 volt reference point so now you notice here output is the uh, top left pin we're not going to use that op amp outputs the uh, top pin right below it's the inverting input and then the non inverting input whereas the schematic I have the non inverting input above the inverting input so it's very uh, important that you pay close attention to which one is plus and minus both on the schematic and on the integrated circuit because they don't always uh, line up but uh, this is it I'm gonna grab a long jumper just because my uh, little jumpers that uh, bridge uh, one spot next to the other don't have any insulation so they're a little hard to see so in any case well we'll put it somewhat close so that's the uh, top left pin the output and now the inverting the uh, negative symbol right there and uh, right below it's plus we have a, a voltage divider to set a variable voltage that's what the output does it outputs the voltage that you input and uh, we're gonna grab the oscilloscope and look at why this is important so now I got an easy to use uh, pocket oscilloscope here and on the opposite end of the cable are these alligator clips we're going to put this one anywhere to the negative rail all the voltages we're going to look at are in relationship to the negative rail and uh, this one we're going to put to the uh, doesn't matter we could put it to the trim pot or to the output right now so let's go with output to begin with and uh, there you can see we have about three volts because the trim pot set about halfway and so if each one of these squares is one volt if I turn the uh, trim pot down now you can see we get down to zero volts I got negative rail there and then in relationship to the negative rail the output is zero volts now I'm gonna work my way up and uh, it doesn't go up to five volts because this doesn't output up to five volts looks like it's just shy of four volts so that's common with uh, outputs of integrated circuits sometimes they can't go to one rail or the uh, other one and uh, in any case we can look at the uh, voltage of the uh, trim pot just by going there so the input here is not letting current in or out so the voltage at this point is the voltage that uh, you see right there so there is the uh, trim pot as I turn it and now we'll look at the output as I turn this so again go down up so it's matching but it can't output quite the full voltage so it stops at that point now what we're gonna do is we're at the uh, output here and uh, move this jumper over we're still going to look at the output but now we're gonna add an LED so short lead the cathode I'm gonna put to that gray jumper long lead the anode up one row we're gonna forward bias it so it's gonna light up when the output gets more than about one and a half volts above uh, zero volts so there you can see the LED lit and we're about two and a half volts and so we're going to uh, turn it down and uh, the LED turned off because we had less than about one and a half volts now you'll see when we get about one and a half volts the LED lights up so it's outputting the voltage that the LED needs so why is this important is because the uh, trim pot this is a 10 kilo ohm trim pot that's a 220 ohm resistor it does not work well at all to try to use the trim pot directly so I'll kind of zoom in but try not to uh, miss everything so I'm going to take the uh, resistor and uh, put that to the output here and then to the LED so we could remove the integrated circuit altogether right there and now we're going to also measure the uh, voltage at the uh, trim pot and we saw before it was a nice uh, smooth transition of course we can get to zero uh, volts plenty fine now I'm going to turn it up and uh, you can see once the LED starts conducting it holds the voltage down and but then once I get 
uh, pretty close to all the way to the positive rail all of a sudden there's not much resistance up here anymore and the voltage shoots up so it's not transferring the voltage near as well I mean, it's really not transferring it well at all there you can see we got uh, even though I'm slowly changing it we got points where the voltage sticks and then when it suddenly changes uh, rapidly and whatnot so that is what the voltage follower is for so hope that all makes sense check out one of the other videos I'm posting whatnot I could really use uh, patreon donations and uh, so I'll make sure and pop that link up there too uh, and some other videos to check out so thanks for watching I will see you in the next video.